Alan Sokal here to do another Amazon review. Hi, Alan Sokal. I'm doing a quick review on the Power brand. This is a single ear, on the ear, uh, cell phone headset. Okay, what do you get? Well, as soon as I got this in and took it out of the box, uh, I realized one of the things I had was a very well-weighted docking station. If you take the headset off, this device right here is the uh, docking station, and it uh, it's pretty weighty. I, I've got a feeling there's a, a metal base in here because the electronics certainly wouldn't weigh this much. This is the headset and um, it is again a single over the ear and uh, take a little closer look at it. Your headpiece rotates down. You can in fact turn this for left ear or right ear because the, uh, the mouthpiece, the headset uh, receiver microphone, it uh, rotates, as you can see, uh, a good 180 degrees. So it's, uh, it's an ambidextrous uh, headset. Something that sort of surprised me, uh, you do get uh, instruction set, and this time I was pleasantly surprised. The um, entire uh, multi-fold uh, instruction sheet is in English, only in English. And uh, it uh, has step-by-step -step instructions. It starts uh, with uh, table of contents, product overview, goes into the basic operations. And uh, frankly, when I uh, started looking at this, uh, most immediately I just wanted to know where the buttons were and what they did. Because uh, if you've used one like this, you've pretty much used most of them. About the docking station and the way this thing uh, sits in here, when this is sitting in the docking station, I found out that the, the Bluetooth will automatically shut off. The unit goes into uh, evidently a charging mode. So when I was connected to my cell phone, S9 Plus by the way, uh, the, uh, the headset, I was wearing it, had Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, when I went and put it back on the docking station, it disconnected, so be aware of that. Uh, something about the docking station I didn't care for. I like the way the headset drops in ma magnetically. Uh, there are multi-contacts, um, actually four to be specific, on the bottom of the headset. Uh, let's see if you can see that. There are four four metal uh, contact points, and uh, then in the docking station itself, um, there are uh, four, uh, ma well, they're matching pins. So, uh, one thing about the docking station I didn't care for, uh, the power comes in on the back side. When you put this unit back in place and it always goes with the uh, silver side here that's got the uh, mic, the microphone arm, comes around and goes into a section here uh, which it's fitted for. Well that's great. The problem is if I had had my druthers I would have made this the front of the unit. Why? Because there's a small LED here. Right now it's blue, but it's red when it's charging. And uh, the power comes in on the side. If the power, and let me disconnect it, if the power were to come in the back side, uh, I would have been able to fit this uh, into a space with the uh, LED facing out so I could see when it was charged. It's fully charged now, 
But uh, that was really the only issue I had with the unit. Okay, well, let me put this on for you and show you how quickly it does pair. I'm going to presume that when I put this on, sitting at my desk here, um, and it's reasonably comfortable. I wish the uh, head, the uh, ear side would articulate or rotate a little bit. Uh, I guess it's snug in my ear, but for some reason I was hoping there'd be a little more movement here and also on the uh, head pad uh, over on this side. But it does seem to hold in place. I didn't feel any discomfort. Uh, right now, and let me bring the uh, phone in so you can see, right now what you're wanting to see is the, let me just bring it up again. So I am going to push the button on, which I just did, power on, pairing. That's what I just heard. And you're looking for power 10B right there. And it's connected, so it's rather quick. Okay, so going from connected state, I'm then ready to take phone calls. And uh, in fact, before I started this section, I actually had a client call in. And uh, the conversation was clean and clear. I asked my client uh, what he thought of the call, and he said, sounds pretty good to me. So uh, that was my test. <laughs> Uh, I'm very satisfied with it. I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a good unit, and I'm surprised, well, maybe not totally surprised, but the price point at this time during my review, uh, very, very reasonable. So um, I'm giving it five stars because it actually performed as I expected.